Hey, so everybody's making videos about their game of the year, and I wasn't gonna do one because I'm not very good at explaining why I like things, but fuck it. I'm gonna just gush for a little bit and tell you guys how much I loved Mario Odyssey. And I know it's already 2018, but uh, shut up. I'm gonna be upfront and say that I'm in the very unpopular minority group that dislikes Super Mario Galaxy. I like the second one a bit more, but both games follow a structure that, until recently, has put a super bad taste in my mouth. As a lot of you know, I'm a really big fan of collectathon platformers, and although I don't really necessarily believe the first couple 3D Mario games to be collectathons per se, at least not when compared to like Banjo Kazooie, they do follow the same structure in terms of how levels themselves are designed. I fucking love Mario 64 and Sunshine, and as far as I knew, that's what 3D Mario was. I understand that usually you're going to cling to whatever you grew up with, but for me, explorative level design was what defined 3D Mario games. So to break from that and, in my opinion, regress to a much more linear experience kind of soured the whole thing for me. And I typically don't even like exploration and I like linearity, but when it comes to those games, every level is so self-contained that the exploration doesn't seem overwhelming. I know the Galaxy games are highly regarded, and I do believe that they are good games and rightfully should exist. My problem is that they completely threw away the big exploration levels for much smaller and contained linear ones, and for me, they did not fulfill what I wanted in a 3D Mario game. But fast forward over 15 years and we finally have a return to form, and god damn it, it made my fucking brain explode. Super Mario Odyssey has got to be not only one of the best Mario games ever made, but one of the absolute best 3D platformers ever made. I'm sure you've all heard people sing this game's praises 10,000 times by now, but I never actually made a video about it, and I feel like this game is way too important not to. I honestly don't even have all that much to say, only because I'm just so floored over the entire game as a whole. The only thing I can say that I'm a little bitter about is the fact that it's lacking a hub world. I, it didn't necessarily make the game worse, it's just definitely an element that I found myself missing. Okay, now time to gush. Never in all my years of gaming have I played a game set in a 3D space with such tight controls. I sat here trying to think of a game that felt better, but at least as far as I'm concerned, they're fucking unrivaled. A very big and important thing about this game is that there isn't necessarily a wrong way to do anything, and you can thank the game's movement for that. In recent years, Nintendo games have had a lot of hand-holdy bullshit, and in general, it seemed like Nintendo hasn't wanted anyone to play their games any way other than the way they were intended to be played. But, games like this and Breath of the Wild have since proven that they seem to be taking a much looser approach. There are so many ways to go about collecting so many of the moons, and it's all because of the freedom of how the game controls. Sure, there are ways you're technically meant to do everything in the game, but because of Cappy and Mario's movement options, you can find shortcuts or even skip entire things in the game, and it's all dependent on how good you can master the controls. Because of this, finding your own shortcuts feels much more like a reward for your skill rather than a cheap skip due to a developer oversight. I don't want to go into too much detail, only because I really hate talking about spoilers, and although this game's been out for a while now, I'm sure there's at least a couple people out there who haven't had this game's surprises spoiled for them yet. The music is incredible as well. Albeit not quite as memorable as previous games, they're overall still great, and there definitely were a few standout tracks that got stuck in my head maybe a bit longer than I would have liked. That would have kingdom music, man. Fuck. Literally every stage is memorable and interesting, and I don't think there was even one that I didn't like. I will say a couple areas were maybe a little unnecessary, but those weren't exactly levels in the traditional sense. Look, all you need to know is this game kept me smiling like a big dumbass from the second it started until I collected the very last moon. Nintendo really did every last thing they could to really hit it out of the park with this one, and god damn it, they did it. My only hope is that they can keep this formula going for future games. I don't give games ratings or anything like that, but I'll be damned if I wouldn't call this a 10 out of 10. If you loved Mario 64 or Sunshine, or just 3D platformers in general, and you somehow have not played this game yet, please do yourself a favor and play it. R right now. And if you don't have a Switch, go get a Switch. It's worth it for for this game alone. That probably sounds insane, but I don't give a fuck. Just go buy it and play it and have a grand old time and junk. That's all I gotta say. I've got MAGFest coming up this week, but once I'm back, I'll start working on a main episode. Uh, Pinky's worth.